but they're not really. There are tens and many <laughs> other heroes that can dish out damage. <laughs> don't put the damage output on the Uranus. You don't have to. Uranus should be tanking kills. In this situation, hopefully Blacklist International should Uranus. rethink this. I am a fan of the execute and the pull yourself together um, strategy, but put some yep. defensive items on this guy first. Yeah, what do you think about the no, draft? No, 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 I agree. What do you think about the yeah. Here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. I would like to dub myself as the third best Uranus in MPL Esports. <laughs> you got you got you got 8G yourself. Yeah. You got the Lara of Onyx yep. PH and then you got me. Yeah. I think I've been <laughs> I've been outperforming uh, in my ranked games and I'm when I'm studying, yeah. but no jokes aside. Oh, you're right. Uranus He's a lot like a sledgehammer. You know, he's a lot like a sledgehammer. He's able to do damage, yeah. but he's cumbersome. You can pick him up first yeah. if you know what you're getting into, but don't expect him to always perform. So I think yeah. uh, a lot of us, you're right, are over uh, evaluating what Uranus can bring. Sure, he's a safe pick, mm -hmm. but yeah, people are starting to pick up. Oh. People are starting to learn that Your there are counters, that there are ways to stop Uranus. Yeah. And with a lineup that just doesn't work, like... You know, yeah. he's not a tank, guys. Never ever think that Uranus is a Your pure tank. So, with that yeah. being said, Blacklist needs to learn their lesson here. But it looks like they're, they're drafting the same way they did in game one. Exactly. Yeah, Both teams. What's going on? Exactly. Uh, honestly, I'm scared for Blacklist now. The fact that they brought out the Uranus and the Kaja right away. I mean, if it's broke, fix it. And that's what I'm trying <laughs> to I want Blacklist International to see SGD Omega. If it ain't, ain't broke, don't fix it. And they're not fixing it right now because it's not broke. The Claude, the Esmeralda, and the Jawhead were really big for them in the last game. So if we yeah. just end up seeing the same picks here, I'm still going to lead towards SGD Omega. Why would you show up oh, the Uranus and prioritize it as a first pick, knowing that the Esmeralda <laughs> was already an option for SGD and they made it work? Answer probably because Blacklist has something else up their sleeve to counter this they Esmeralda. <laughs> they, they, if it's yeah. still the same picks, I, I don't know. I'm still gonna lean towards SGD. Um, Blacklist, Your though. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Something new. The Kagura, though. Ooh. Ooh. Hold up, hold up, hold <laughs> so up. The, yeah, I guess this, is, the, the... this is Edward's Kagura. Yeah. This is Edward's this is Kagura. Edward. I yeah. think, uh, yeah, I agree. So you know what? Uh, I think that this uh, the the only difference now for Blacklist is why they are still confident with the uh, Uranus is that this is a uh, second pick for them. So at least they will have the last pick. However, SGD Omega, I still firmly believe that they have won the first round of the draft. Rafaela and the Atlas gonna be pick, oh. gonna be picked by SGD Omega, meaning Your this is, is a picking. side laning. Jawhead, I would say. Bruno. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh, oh, no way. So it's going to be a support it's, Kagura. It's 80% it's the same. same. It's 80% the same lineup. And mm. I on think both that teams. They... So well, I was 100% no, 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's an Atlas. Okay. There's an Atlas, though. I'm sorry, not 80%. It, it, there's a little bit of a difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, does this mean that we... That... We are just 80% confident now that Blacklist will lose this. Is that what it is? What it is? Yeah, Raptor Leo, what are know. your thoughts on this? <laughs> Give me a second. I'm, 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 I'm right. stand corrected. It might not be an Edward Kagura, but you know what? Okay, Given this whole shakeup, there's a lot changing on the side of Blacklist. I gotta say, um, even if there is that change, I still believe SGD is gonna come out with this, and this might be a 2 0. That's my prediction. Yeah, uh, real quickly, the Atlas and Rafaela pick just put the nail in the coffin even deeper. This is a 2-0 SGD. Sorry, Blacklist. All right. You know what? My mind says it's going to be SGD, but I kind of want to see this Kagura pick um, be successful. So I think I will have to vote. Well, my guts will vote for Blacklist. I don't know if I'm still in the game. But for now, let's. Uh, why not we? All right, there you go. I kind of lagged there a bit, right? So I voted for Blacklist just for the so sake good. of wanting to see Hon the Beast, Beast, Beast in and out with the Kagura support. I want to see it in public oh, matches. Let's go. Two oh, one from the panel here. I hope I'm right. Casters, let's rock hard and say, uh, take it away. <laughs> set up for the side of SGD. Fatal Links, yep. followed by the Falling for Star sure. Moon to really contain, followed again, or maybe the Jawhead's, uh, you know, ejector right there, just to really, uh, you know, clean it up. But for the side of Blacklist, 
Kaja here being most efficient if ever so they manage to pin down either the Rafaela or the Claude. Because if you're going to yeah. pin down the the other three, they could still have that shot into really escaping. And yeah. based on to the overall draft of Blacklist, they don't really have that super mobility to really back it up if ever so that their victim manages to escape. You know what I mean? That's so, that's also what I'm thinking about because you don't yeah. want to well, don't, you don't want to pull Toshi you don't want to pull Hayes so yeah. Kenji is gonna be super vulnerable if you can find Kenji on his own same with obviously Hajizi thing is yeah, will that happen much. that is my thinking here. because we've already seen that SCD Omega is giving a lot of space in terms of the Claude right here and the Rafaela is really has that good harassing potential and I don't think. Uh, within the later uh, minutes of the game, this Rafael is gonna go alone because I'm pretty sure that this is going to be aided up whenever they will be starting uh, skirmishes fights or team fights per se. So going back into what we have right now, our card still back to the fundamentals. Them scaling one by one, just poking each other out into respective lanes. But I think they will be transitioning here to the bottom side. Yep, it should be quite easy to get messy, down and messy with SGD mm -hmm. here. Uh, and then find Kenji or find Hajizi, right? It sounds like it's gonna be easy. Especially if it's a full on collapse with Ikagura, Yin Yang Overture really mm -hmm. messes up the team fight and sometimes can really give advantage to the team that has Ikagura. This might not be it. Yeah. Again, that's the biggest problem. Can they actually pull the trigger? And will SGD Omega allow them to pull that trigger? Because they can just negate that by not clumping up together all game, mm -hmm. right? You can but do speak, that. You can just yeah, not team yeah. up. Yeah, I agree with you on that. But again, uh, speaking of clumping up together, that was the initial strategy of Blacklist International, if you notice, in the early uh, minutes of the game. Three people on the blower side, and again, it looks like Heath will be the one to be harassed. But like what I've said, this is still too early, and the jawhead has... It's, it's tanky enough, you know, and they, it's really near into a very safe area. So I think that was a bit of a miscoms in terms of calling the shots for the side of Blacklist. Mm -hmm. But going back to what I said earlier, they are clumped up together into the early minutes of the game. That Turtle leaves a lot of space soon. for the quad and, uh, you know, a very half XP for those three members that, that I saw earlier. If I'm not mistaken, that was the Kaja, the Bruno, and the Kagura earlier. Kagura, yeah. Right, mm. which is, I don't know if that's going to be getting into play though, as we do see Heath going in with Unstoppable Force, they lock it in already on the Riddler, that is one down already, the biggest damage dealer, aside from Edward, will it be a turtle take though? It will, going over to Hajisi, making short work of Killer in that Uranus, blazing the wet to clear up the minion waves, propping or prepping rather for the push will oh, be counterflowed here. Edward, huge Min Yang overturn, but no follow through coming from Blacklist International. SGD comes out on top of that team fight. I, I, I cannot. Rockheart, did you see how the Cho way of the dragon, the Claude, but before actually getting the kick? The jaw had used the ejector against it. Yeah, that was I know. a beautiful play done by the jaw in really timely manner. It really prevented uh, from Claude that was from nuts. Claude getting picked off, and that was that yeah. was a good and that was a good timing, really. And wow, Come on, I, I just you gotta have, have that on the replay. Yeah, yeah you right, really get have that to on the replay. We want to see that again. <laughs> Top lane though, again, another use of the ejector it locks down one more target. On the bottom lane, it's a different story. Blacklist, they will get one more tower, but overall, SGD doing really good in this game so far. Mm -hmm. And this is what we've been uh, talking about earlier, Rockheart. We were correct in terms of, you know, really protecting the squishier heroes for the side of SGD. And this is leaving uh, Blacklist International into a pinch wherein uh, they can't really, you know, divide judgment one of the tankier targets of SGD Omega. But speaking of that, Ejector is going to be used. But I think that's just going to be opted for a harassment. Considering in terms of population, there are more members of Blacklist onto the top side. But that left uh, Rafaela and company to just really go for that turret take. Yep, that tower really short lived here. Again, SGD has haze and the power of the normal attacks of heats are also quite scary. 
But again, they are suffering a lot of damage here. They are still not out of, out of the woods just yet. They must not be super overconfident or else they could get caught oh. out here. Because what they're doing, hey, he's on the front line. Whoa, huge fail oh. here. Gets the cleanup, gives the kills over into the cores of SGD Omega. Oh man, Blacklist International now brought battled and bruised here by SGD Blacklist. They are now can nowhere to be seen on the map. That is beautiful teamwork there from see, SGD. See? Wow. See, this is what I've so been referring things. to earlier. Uh, you get eject. You, uh, Jawhead gets an ejector. Okay, this is the replay right now. They will be ejected. The game overturned, but the Fatal Links will be there accompanied by the Blazing Duet. And that is what you have to really avoid when you're really facing this sort of lineup. That was a beautiful clean. That was, that's what I say, I think one of the most cleanest uh setups that we have uh, when we see sgd omega utilize this but again going going back yeah. to the points that i said earlier this is what makes them scary because the moment that you get pinned down by the jawhead follow it with the fatal links because for sure there there will be aid when someone gets ejected from the side of blacklist right once you get fatal links it will be aided up with the falling storm to immobilize you and just have that blazing duet to just really clean it up and that is the threat level that these three could really get and this is what we're seeing right now again for the second time around but oh the divine judgment will be used to really prevent that setup from happening okay a little bit of uh overconfidence i would say they, they did yeah. not really need to take that no minions were nearby as well so they probably wouldn't have mm -hmm. transitioned that into a clean push anyway. But still, you, we were talking about how easy it is for SGD Omega to just really layer all the crowd control alongside Heath, alongside Haze. And they did that oh, earlier. Oh. And the pickoff that we're talking about, kill onto Kenji, that might be a super critical turning point. However, Toshi takes it back here with a kill on the Aqua. Mm -hmm. And again, Ejector will be used to pin down the killer right here. Hajizu will be using his kits, but I think he manages to go on a safer distance. And of course, objective-wise, uh, SGD would still be sticking into this turtle take, really securing that and not leaving any room for resources against Blacklist. Yeah, because Blacklist, obviously, all they can do here is just tower in the jungle while being hunted down by SGD Omega. And I think they yeah. do have a, a little bit of sixth sense going in here. And the uh, Honda B is going to be the first one here to see the power of Haze onto yes. that awesome Atlas. Again, the reason why mm -hmm. you guys were really turned around here is because of the Atlas on the predictions. That is absolutely coming true right now. Mm. And again, like what I've said and look at what we've been saying earlier, they are not really giving any space. Flicker and Divine Judgment in. It's going to take a pick off right here, really diminishing the potential that SUD has. But again, it's going to be stuck all over Fatal Link. Oh, and that was going to be a triple tower knife at last. Going all out with the help of the Blazing Duet of that um, Claude right there. And you know Aqua here going on the run. But Haze is just going to follow him all through. And that leaves Claude with the space onto the top side. But again, Aqua trying his best to survive. Will he though? Let's see if he is able to escape with two people on the chase. But look at the top, bottom side rather. It's just really going to go all the more exposed. <laughs> while all the fiascos happening. This is our run. You know, chase your bone for the dog right here. And I think... Oh. Around the oh, map. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought Aqua was gonna pull off some crazy shenanigans there. Yeah, Apparently yeah, yeah. that was all the skills he had. Oh yeah, man, was that all worth it? I'm not sure. Probably they probably saved their base overall. But Hajizi is still able to get the bottom lane tower over at SGD. Again, with the help of all the supports here. Mid lane might be the next target. Fully buffed up, fully stacked up. Hajizi 2 0 and 6. Golden Staff just getting completed. That might be the oh, nail in the coffin right there. The, the, the trio <laughs> that's needed for a Claude to be super powerful is already locked in. Indeed. I mean, we, we've, we've seen uh, earlier that ring around the Rosies to the map. It, was wor it could have been worth it if his other uh, members were alive and actually going for a pickoff or defending. But then again, going back right here into our games right now, SGD just abusing the map control that they have, going in for this lord before going anywhere else. 
And uh, the problem here for uh, Blacklist International is that, okay, sure, the Kagura has the damage. She has that, especially when the Yin Yang Overturn is going into play. But the problem is they can't get a good setup. Why? Because they lack the initiator. Okay, you have the Cho with the Way of the Dragon, but where's the follow-up? Because the thing is, the Kagura's should be into the back lines to avoid getting picked off. And that is what SGD is abusing right now. Yeah, and overall, the abuse on the lack of initiation for Blacklist International, they have that Kaja Divine Judgment, they can't use mm -hmm. it. They have a Yin Yang Overtone, which possibly could still be fatal to SGD, but there is no opportunity to use, yes. to press that button, to get into the team fight. And overall, Blacklist, mm -hmm. they're waiting and waiting and waiting, but SGD, I don't think they're gonna give it. Yeah, because the more they wait, the more resources that, that SGD will just really go for the taking, you know? And like what we've been mentioning earlier, okay, the Kagura has damage, it goes for the Yang Overturn, but is denied by the Atlas's Fatal Links. And that is the thing that makes SGD really lethal. And by le lethal, just looking at the pressure that SGD is inflicting on to Blacklist right now, I think it, it's going to be over real soon. Yeah, I think that might be the case here. Lord will go down, but there are no more inhibitors. Let's go! Oh. One more smack down into the back line, but looks like not gonna be enough to wipe him out. Just yet, Blacklist, they are able to take down two members here of SGD. Will the remaining members go for the coming team fight? I don't think so. They are able to defend in the last minute, but Hajiji, oh. he's still alive. Goes for the BMI going now. Will he spot by Honda Beast? Will this be a kill? The Honda Beast, he sees the image, but will not be taken onto the bait. Wow, Blacklist, well, they're that, able yeah. to pick up a team fight at least. Barely, actually, because uh, you have to take note though, during that team fight, the Claude was, uh, you know, still not into the vicinity. And for the side of the Kaja, for into the Blacklist, that was a good call not really entering to Claude because you'll give him another free gold for the taking. And going back to that fight earlier, you have to take note as well that even though it was a good defense for the side of Blacklist, Claude was not there. You have to put into the question what if he was, right? Absolutely. Like right now, full item Claude. Like, oh mm -hmm. my god. <laughs> you get you better be careful, right? A big uh Leaps and bounds different from the place Riddler is right now. Oh. 5,000 gold to be exact. But that will be a pickoff, possibly. But again, no oh. damage output available yet. The Blacklist, everyone is scattered all around the map. And it looks like Hajiz is going to be in the middle of the fight this time. No more leaving his teammates and giving all the kills over to SGD, mm -hmm. I think. Come on, I think oh. it should be. Oh, <laughs> a little blunder there by KG. Does not matter in the oh. end, they will go oh. for the big well take, and the kill goes over to support, the win goes over to SGD. Yes.